Welcome back, YouTube. My name is Savion Winston, and this is Indigo Drone. Today, in the mail, I received the Tello Rise by DJI Drone, specifically meant to help you learn how to program drones and allow them to do autonomous missions. It teaches you different programming languages, such as Scratch, provided by the Tello as well as Python, Java, and even Node. For the past few months, I've been studying at a coding bootcamp called Coding Dojo. And we're uh, provided the tasks of doing different projects within the stack that we're in. Now I'm currently inside the Java stack so my challenge to myself was to program this drone in Java instead of Python. So inside the Tello box, you are provided with the Tello drone, as well as three batteries, a three battery charger, and a USB cable. This drone allows you to take videos in 720p it has a flight time of 13 minutes, a 5 megapixel camera, and electronic image stabilization. Most, if not all, these features are available inside of the Tello SDK, which we'll be setting up right now. In order for this to work, we are going to need to download the Tello SDK which will be provided by this website, which will be linked in the description box below. And on this website, they provide you with detailed instructions of how to program this Tello drone in Java specifically. This website will provide different links allowing you to d download a IDE, and I'm using the Eclipse IDE, which is preferred for this application. And once I downloaded the IDE, I imported the Tello SDK, which comes with all these different packages and Java files with different demos, allowing you to run these different demos to see how this drone runs on Java. So once you've made it to a certain point in that small course that I just previously mentioned, you will want to get to eventually demo three, which will enable the drone to do these different maneuvers by moving forward, backwards, up, down, left, right, and then rotate a couple times. And at the end, land. All right, so it's as simple as this. We're going to grab the Tello. On the side, you're going to see a small power button. You're going to want to click that once. This is going to show you a green light followed by a couple different blinking lights. And once this light continuously blinks yellow, you're ready to connect. Now that the Tello is ready to connect, we're going to go to our laptop and connect to it through the Wi-Fi. I've done this once previously, so it connected automatically. But just because it says no internet doesn't mean the program will not run. The program will run. So we're going to grab the Tello drone and put it in a safe place with a lot of space and run the program. Right click the Tello SDK, navigate to run as, run configurations, and run. Okay, 
notice that the drone flew autonomously. Now each one of these demos has different ways where this drone can maneuver. And I'm currently moving through each one of these demos learning how to code these drones. So this is just a small documentary type video showing the, the starting point of where I figured out the first time how to program this drone and make it fly autonomously. So once again, I'll show you guys that you're able to run this drone and make it fly autonomously without having to move any joysticks, um, use any different keys, external devices. You just run this program. The drone will take off. Run a couple maneuvers. And land. I'm gonna make sure to keep you guys up to date about what is going on with this drone code. This is just the beginning video. How this all works, kind of. It shows you where to go. Um, yeah, this is gonna teach me everything I need to know about you know, programming this Tello drone. And this is just gonna be the starting point of how I'm gonna learn how to program multiple different devices later on with different uh, programming languages like Python, Java. Uh, I've heard, even heard people programming this drone with Node. So yeah, we're gonna test all those out and I'll keep you guys informed and in tune. All right, make sure you guys go and click that comment, like, and subscribe buttons. Stay tuned about what's going to be happening next with uh, this Tello drone as well as multiple different other drone projects I'm going to be conducting. Um, yeah, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. The drone will take off and usually it's pretty unstable.